All right, I am back with some more Crixus the Gaul in our Eagle Rising playthrough. And last time, the Great War had finally come to an end. The Gauls versus the Dryatics is over. I think it's safe to say we came out the winners. They initially took this castle from us, but we managed to take it back before the end of the war. And we also stole these two castles to the north. So as far as I'm concerned, lads, that is a win. After the war was over, we then built up the army, recruited as many people as we possibly can. We picked up a couple of companions and then we found out we have a long lost family. <laughs> it turns out Crixus the Gaul has two brothers and a sister. We never knew about them, but there you go, eh? And now the question is, what is going to happen today? Is a war going to break out? And if it does, the question is, with who? Will it be the Romans? Will we be marching north to Sturgia? Or will it be the Dryatics once again? I don't know, but we're going to have to wait and see. All right, we're off to a good start, lads. While we're resting and relaxing, I forgot to feed the men. So, uh... They aren't exactly resting and relaxing. They're all starving to death. My bad. <laughs> I am a good lord, honestly. I don't usually let my men starve. We usually get all our food by robbing the enemy. But because there's no war, I have to actually buy some. Alright, lads. Have some grain. Grapes. Okay, well, that's it. The rest is too pricey. <laughs> Grain and grapes for dinner it is. Alright, well, not a lot has been happening. We started in about autumn. It is now spring of the following year. And nothing has happened. So, I have installed the better time mod. Thanks for someone suggesting it in my Discord. And now we can super fast forward. In the hopes that something will happen soon. <laughs> I just gotta remember, my food will go down quicker. As time is moving faster, so I need to make sure the men don't starve again. <laughs> but hopefully a war or something will happen soon. It is now the 14th of winter, 1093. A few years have passed since the great war between the Gauls and the Dryatics. We have lost a lot of money sitting around doing nothing. Keeping the men fed through the winter... It is a pricey task. And now our king has called upon us to make a decision. War with the Dryatics again? Oh man. Here we go again lads. Here we go again. <laughs> not Rome, not Sturgeon, no. The Dryatics once more. Oh man, I got a feeling we're going to have to kill these and then we'll move on to something else. All right, well, let's make the decision. Oh, war of the odds. Everyone supports it. I'm just going to sit on the sidelines, lads. You do you. For the first time in a war, we are the superior faction. I think they're also at war with Rome right now, so we're trying to take advantage of the fact that they're losing men in another war. So I think the plan is we summon the Bannerman and we march north. I want to take this castle here and then maybe we can try and take this part up here and pin them in the corner. I'm a bit worried that if we go too far south, Rome might decide to attack us and it'll be a bit hard to defend the land. But if we take this corner, there is only one enemy it borders. So that being said, the Bannermen have been summoned and it is time to march. Alright, the castle is pretty weak from the last fights. They haven't had time to recover. Even though it's been a few years, the defense is slacking, lads. Alright, men, battle positions. The Dryatics have caused us nothing but pain over the years. They have pillaged our villages, they have attacked our people, they have even attempted to steal our land. For the first time, we are going to strike the initial blow in the war. We are going to take this castle and show them that you can no longer mess with the Gauls. There is nothing we can do but watch the men get slaughtered. The siege equipment needs to make it, lads. Oh man, the bodies. The bodies are stacking. 
Hang in there, men. Hold your positions. All right, there's some archers up on the wall blocking us. Eat one of these, lads. All right. Let me let me adjust for the wind. We didn't take wind into account. That's what that was, lads. All right, we're going to have to get off the horse. I can't exactly climb a siege tower with a horse now, can I? All right, men. The gods are on our side. We've got this. I'm not liking the idea that a man with a very pointy hat is sitting right below me. Watch where you point that hat, my friend. I don't want any surprises. <laughs> I mean, look how pointy this man's hat is. Alright, how are we going to do this then, lads? I guess I just put a hatchet in someone's skull. That seems to be effective. Oh, no. Oh, no, lads. It's okay. It's okay. The totem shall protect us. All right. That's another one dead. Can we sneak behind these guys, maybe? Here we go. Now we've got them. Where are you going to go now, lads? Who do you fight? Me or my team? And we're in. Don't know where Mr. Pointy Hat is going. I think he's a bit lost over there, lads. I won't lie. Alright, here we go. Kind of run into that one. And that one. Are there any more? Nope. We're ready to move on to the front gate, lads. There's a few of them in here. There is a few. And I'm not too sure where the lads are. Where did the lads go? One moment you're behind me. The next there's not a single man with me. Okay, we gotta keep pushing forward. This castle has to fall. What are these lads? Or have you left unguarded for me? Oh, we missed. Oh, now I'm using my fists. What, what is going on here, lads? I want a fire pot. I want a fire pot and I want to hit someone with it. But who? There's, there's kind of no one around. I think they're all dead. All right, well... It looks like this siege is over, and I'm going to burn their siege equipment. That, that's about it. <laughs> and we have done it. We have struck the first blow in this war. If we check the war report, they are already up to 7.5% due to the castle they have just lost and the casualties that they have taken. Oh no, we are in the castle resting up and the enemy have marched an army. All right, they're going straight past, which is a bit of a problem, lads, I won't lie. All right, the defenders are actually holding really well. We just need the enemy army to be a little bit weaker. All right, the defenders have suffered enough. You have done your job, lads. It is time to relieve them of this attack and eliminate this enemy army. All right, men, it is a shame we had to lose so many men in that siege defense. But let's not make their sacrifice pointless. Let's cut down the enemy army once and for all. Let's give meaning to our fallen comrades' lives, eh? Alright, men, fire away. If we inflict enough casualties, they will give up their position and march down the hill. So fire away, lads. Fire away. All right, infantry, it is your time. The enemy shield wall is marching towards us. We're going to move into position. We got the cavalry on the side waiting for the charge. This is it, men. This is it. All right, cavalry, their archers are in the open. Cut them down, lads. Cut them down. 
Infantry, let's do this. We are going to slice the enemy in half with our new weapon. We can just sit back and slice away, lads. It's like cutting the grass. <laughs> Hold up, who shot me? All right, one of you shot me. There we go. We cut him in half, lads. But I think it's safe to say this battle is over. The enemy didn't stand a chance. All right, now that the enemy army has been eliminated, we're going to march up here and visit this town. I need to sell some prisoners, sell some supplies. We'll also hit up some of the villages just to get a little bit of men. And then we will decide on our next move. The initial plan was to go up here. So we will check what kind of garrison this town here has. If it is too high, we might have to pick something else. Or we could call in more bannermen. We'll have to see. But first, to the settlement. Well... We only made it back to this first village. I didn't even get to the settlement and they are trying to steal the castle back from us. All right, who is it? Come on. You can't run from us, lads. Here we go. We've got you. It is time to cut down another army. Oh man, this better time mod, lads. We should have installed it a hell of a lot sooner. <laughs> it saves so much time. All right, the enemy aren't hanging around this time, lads. The enemy are on the offensive. Well, we are going to hold our ground. We're going to gun down as many as we can. My ally over there is in a very odd circle formation. Buddy, get behind the wall. You're not safe out there. Okay, enemy, point your shield wall the wrong way. That, that only helps me. <laughs> Oh, who are you? <laughs> Some guy thought he'd go for the hero play and cut down the leader of the army. Infantry. All right, infantry. Advance, men. Okay, never mind. Do not advance. I'm going to have to tell you exactly where to go. You'll chase a horse otherwise, lads. All right, I'm going to cut this man in half. Bear with me, lads. There we go. The cavalry will charge. It seems we have engaged the enemy. We need the slice through mod so I can hit more than one guy at a time. Then this weapon would be great. Although that being said, I still find I'm missing a lot. That's probably just me. <laughs> All right, lads. You can't run away from the inevitable. I'm sorry, but you gotta go. This guy's head is coming. No, never mind. All right, let's a let's attempt that again. This guy's head is coming up. Oh. Okay, attempt again. This guy's head is coming off. Okay, we didn't even cut his head off in the end. All right. <laughs> Either way, lads, this battle is over. And that is another enemy army cut down. It feels great winning these fights for once. <laughs> Goal is the dominant faction. But now it is time to stick to our original plan. I will get to this settlement. Alright, it is time to march on this settlement. Hopefully we don't need any additional lords because I think there's only one or two more left. Oh no. The enemy are gathering once again. All right, I have had no choice but to call in the additional lords and it is time to engage this army in battle. They forced my hand. We had no choice. We were outnumbered by nearly 200, but now we have the backup. All right, I'm not too sure where the enemy are going. They're kind of running in like a circle around us. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to shimmy the army over, lads. Come on. Everyone wiggle over. Get into positions. Alright, cavalry. This time you're on me, lads. 
Come on. Let's go. We're going to loop around the back and hit the enemy from behind. As long as I don't hit the tree. Right. Come on, cavalry. On me. On me, lads. All right. Let's do this, men. Let's do this. Cut them down. Oh, man. I think I cut that man's head off. Well... It is time to cut them down once again. <laughs> when will the enemy learn, eh? When will they learn? Goal is not to be messed with anymore. I said it before, we will no longer sit on the sidelines and get attacked. All right, let's slice down a few of the reinforcements, lads. Oh, off with his head. He's trying to shoot me. He shot me. <laughs> oh, God. We gotta get the hang of this weapon. Cavalry is not my combat, lads. You reckon if I aim low enough, I can dismember someone at the leg? Oh no! They've got us, men! There we go. We're getting the hang of it now. Kind of. <laughs> well, I think it's safe to say this battle is over. We have once again cut down the enemy forces. All right, we have made it back to the settlement. I sold the new prisoners that we found. <laughs> Can we finally achieve our goal of reaching this town? I don't know. But we are going to march once more. And we will soon find out whether we make it or not. There's another army. Another army. We can't be dealing with this, lads. And now they're hiding in the castle. Okay, so even with the additional army in the castle, there is still only 700 defenders. I say only... Um, we only outnumber them by 100. That is pretty bad when it comes to a siege. That being said, I'm still going to siege it anyway, lads. <laughs> you should know by now, I am a terrible commander. <laughs> and today we also witnessed the curse of having a better time mod. <laughs> I put it in fast forward and I wasn't paying attention to the cohesion. And it dropped to the point that half the army has abandoned us. We've gone from the 800 strong to 300. I've had to use more influence and call as many people back as I can. Better time is both great and a curse. <laughs> but at least we're learning. Now I know not to do it again, eh? <laughs> Alright, men. This settlement had catapults, so we had to bring in the trebuchets. And I got a bit carried away and also broke down their walls. Whether this will be an advantage or not, I don't really know. The numbers are quite even. There's 800 on our side, 700 odd on the enemy side. Alright, can we get some javelin kill? Ooh, don't like where that one hit, lads. I think that was right in the ghoulies. <laughs> Alright, last javelin for good luck. And there we go. All right, men. This is it. Time to bring down another enemy settlement. 
Okay, that shield wall is great and everything, and I'm just gonna leap over the top. <laughs> Was it a good idea? I don't know, lads. I don't know. <laughs> right, got to admit, their shield wall is great. They have proper pinned this corner in. You gotta praise them, lads. You gotta praise them where it's due, you know? As for us, there is a good chance we will die in this fight. Still don't really know why I'm on a horse. Oh no, God, the entire army must be dead. Oh God. All right, back it up, lads. Back through the crack. What's going on? Let me investigate what happened to our forces. There's no way like 800 of us have got cut down already. Oh no, what have I done? Have I really led 800 men to their death? Oh no, there's reinforcements come in. Hurry up, men! Oh no, what have I done? What have I led the men into? We're just being shot. I look like a damn pin cushion, lads. What are we gonna do? Can we attack this man through this crack? Oh yeah! We can't. Oh, hold up. The enemy have marched out. Alright, it is time to get the axe and shield out, I think. Alright, come on, men. We're nearly in. There's not many of them left guard in this entrance. I don't know where they've all gone. But we should take advantage of the chaos. Oh no, there's even more of them. There's even more. Oh no, we have been cut down. I don't think it helped leaping the shield wall on the horse. I don't know whether that was the play or not, lads. <laughs> we just went running in and cannonballed over the wall. Well, it is in the men's hands now. There is nothing else we can do. Well, we have managed to win the siege, bro. At what cost? 400 men dead, 300 wounded, and we have also lost one of our lords. Oh man, was this settlement worth it? Should we have just called off the attack? What have I done? How many men have I led to their deaths? And for what? Well, we managed to take the settlement, but the army is in no shape to continue fighting. We're going to recover back 300 wounded, which is a plus. But we did start with about 800. Oh, man. We just got to hope the enemy don't launch a counter-offensive and take us out. In terms of the war report, we have managed to knock the exhaustion up to 50% already. If we take a look at the Diplomacy tab, the war has already gone on for 33 days. And in that, 5,000 Dryatics have been cut down and only 2,000 Gauls. We're still the stronger of the two factions and we have a lot of them as a prisoner. So hopefully they can't rebuild as fast if we keep them locked up. But I guess the only thing we can do now is recover and continue the war. Maybe we should hit up all the villages quickly and see if we can recruit some uh, last minute troops to bulk the number up a bit. Or maybe it's worth disbanding the armies, let them rebuild themselves while we rebuild and come back stronger with a brand new army. Although I don't know if I'll have the influence for it. We'll have to see. But this castle has another 360 defenders we have to deal with. And I don't know about this settlement here. If we can take these two and end the war, that would be great. Good progress would have been made. We would have taken two castles and two settlements. 
But that is going to be it for this part of the Crixus the Goal playthrough. As always, a big thank you to the Gwaggles members for your continued support. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya.